Hey everybody, Mr. Matt Flog here, and this is a problem solving two step problem. So, we're going to do, be doing some addition, subtraction, multiplication, all in one problem here. So, there's our common core strand. Our essential question is how can we use the strategy act it out to solve a two step problem? Okay. So here's one problem here. Charlotte bought two magazines and a cup of coffee for $11. The coffee costs $3. Each magazine costs the same. So what is the price of one magazine? Okay, remember she bought two magazines. Okay, so let's read the problem. And what do we need to find out? We need to find out the price of one magazine because she bought two of them. Okay, so uh, what information are we going to use? Well, Charlotte spent $11 in all. She bought two magazines and one cup of coffee. And the cup of coffee cost, uh, where is that? It's right here. It cost $3. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with this. So how are we going to use this information? We'll use this information to act it out. Act out the problem. That's what the strategy is in, in this lesson here. So let's solve the problem. That's just the problem re rewritten up there. So describe how we'll act out the problem. So we'll start with 11 counters. Okay, so there's 11 counters over there. And then what we'll do is we'll take away three counters. Okay, so we started with 11 and we're going to take away three. So let's go ahead and take away three. So I'll take out. I'll take out that one, I'll take out that one, I'll take out that one. Okay, so when we take away three counters, then we're going to be left with how many counters? Okay, well, it looks like there's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight counters. Eleven minus three is eight. Okay, and then uh, now we know that two magazines cost this amount right here, eight dollars right here. Okay, because we took out the three dollars for the cup of coffee. So the total cost minus the $3 for the coffee is going to be the cost of the two magazines. So now we know that two magazines cost $8. Whoops, I thought I hit that. Okay. Um, okay, so now let's uh, uh, make uh, how many equal groups uh, for the eight remaining counters. We're going to make two equal groups because this represents the cost of the two magazines right here. So let's go ahead and make two equal groups. So what I'm going to do is just start sliding these down right here. There's one... And we'll put here, I'll put the other group over here, and then just keep going and going. So I did that, so that they end up making uh, four in each group right there. So uh, M is going to be the cost of two magazines, which is $8, and we're going to divide that number. Uh, since the number of magazines is two, we'll go ahead and divide that by two. So here we are, we've divided it into two equal groups right here. Okay, so eight divided by two is equal to four. So then the cost of one magazine is going to be $4, okay? All right. Uh, so why do we need to use two operations to solve the problem? Well, there was a couple of math operations in here. Uh, first, we needed to subtract three for the coffee that uh, Charlotte spent. And then we needed to take that money and divide that by two because there were two magazines that she bought. So we had to subtract and then divide. So there were two math operations there. Let's try another one. Okay, so uh, Beverly bought four packs of pins. She gave five pins to her friend. Now Beverly has 19 pins. How many pins were in each pack? Okay, so we're going to read the problem. What do we need to find out? Uh, we need to find out uh, how many pins were in each pack. Okay, what information are we going to use? Uh, we're going to use the fact that uh, Beverly bought four packs of pins. Then she gave five pins to a friend, and then she was left with 19 pins afterwards, okay? So how are we going to use this? We're going to act this out also right here. Okay, so so let's go. There's the problem again written up there. So um, describe how we're going to act out the problem. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the same sort of strategy. Since she gave away two pins, then we've got to take the total pins that she still has, and we have to add those five pins that she gave away, and that's going to be how many pins are in the four packs right there. So the P is going to be the pins in the four packs. So the pins in the four packs are going to be the pins that 19, that the 19 pins that Beverly still has, plus uh, the five pins that she gave away, and we're adding that back in so we can find out how many pins were total in the four packs right there. Okay, so those add up to 24. So there's 24 pins in the four packs. Okay, and then since there were four packs then, you guys, then we take the 24 and we're going to divide that by uh, the four different packs right there. Let me slide that up up there. Okay, so we're going to uh, divide the number of pins in each pack, so we're gonna, which is four packs, so that's going to be 
uh, give us P, which is the number that's in each pack. Okay, so we'll divide that by 4. 24 divided by 4. What's 24 divided by 4, you guys? Well, I know 24 divided by 2 is half of 24 is 12, and then divide that by 2 again because 2 times 2 is 4. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, if you didn't know that. So um, so there are going to be uh, how many pins in each pack? There's going to be 6 pins in each pack. Okay, so uh, how can we use multiplication and subtraction to check our answer? Well, we can work backwards, you guys, and we can multiply 6, times, uh, uh, six pins times 4 packs to get 24 pins. And then remember, Beverly gave 5 pins away, so if we take 24 minus 5, that would give us 19 pins, and so uh, and that's what it said, that she had 19 pins left. So that would be checking our answer. All right, take care.